working on a more completed and solid engine. The new visual effects are much more realistic than they've ever been in the past. More realistic explosions, more realistic smoke effects. You get particle effects and stuff where you get chipping off of wood when bullets are flying and off of the concrete and everything like that. It is um, a next generation engine and it brings to bear things like self-shadowing and great lighting and um, larger terrains and a higher degree of, um, of graphical fidelity. Uh, the skeleton this time around has a lot more articulation. America's Army 2, if you look very closely, the characters kind of had mitt hands. So they're, you know, little bones for a thumb, the index finger, which is you pulling on the trigger and doing stuff, and then, you know, three bones to approximate the rest of the hand. The lighting engine is very different. We're going to be able to do things like flashlights on the guns. Um, the character itself is self-shadowed. The shadow will become sort of part of the tactical element of gameplay. You can be standing around a corner and see somebody's shadow before they come into view. I mean, there's a lot of kind of baseline bells and whistles that come with engines like this. Things like being able to simulate what you know, optics do, lenses do, cameras do, like depth of field and things like that. It's, it's kind of difficult to overstate the effect that things like that have on the realism of what you're, what you're doing visually. But we're able to go in and do a lot of face customization where you actually see, you know, brows furrowing on the character when they're talking to you like a drill sergeant. You know, you'll see uh, his face deform a lot more realistically than the simple sort of opening and closing the mouth that you saw in 2X. Rather than us trying to figure out what they would do, we can actually put them in the suit and get them to do it for us, capture that data and translate that into direct animations. It's called the Vicon system. It's a 28 camera system that uses uh, infrared light. We get our Special Forces SME in there. He puts on a black suit that's light absorbent so it has no reflectivity on it. And then tracking markers are put at different points on his body, or, you know, near joints like the knees, the elbows, shoulders, so that um, if any you know, three cameras at any time can see one of those dots on the character, uh, on the soldier, they can triangulate that point in 3D space. I think what it gives us is realism, not only, you know, the, the technologies we present, but actually representing them in use in the game. And all of the animations are captured from Special Forces subject matter expert serving in Iraq, Afghanistan, so this, these are the people that know how to do all these movements, so they're very real. I want 110%. Go! 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 Go!